Hey, what's up guys? Davey here from Davey and Krista, and today I'm going to give you an overview of creating and launching your website from start to finish using the Showit platform. Showit is a drag and drop, no code website builder built specifically for photographers and creative professionals. And I made this video, especially for those of you thinking about switching to Showit or building your website from scratch using the Showit platform. So let's dive in. The first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is figure out how you're gonna build your website. Are you gonna hire a designer to build a completely custom website for you? Or are you gonna start with a professionally designed pre-made template? You can find both free and premium templates available in the Palm Shop over at deviantchrista.com. After you figured out how you're going to build your website, you'll have to sign up for a show it account. Signing up for an account is easy, it doesn't require a credit card, and you'll get a few week free trial before you have to choose a subscription. If you have a designer building your website, they'll likely install your design into your account for you. If you've chosen a template, the designer of that template should give you a share key. You're gonna use that share key to add the design to your account. Once you've added the design to your account, all you have to do is customize your website. Something we really appreciate about Showit is how easy it is to work on the mobile version of your website. With a click of the button, you can switch between the mobile version of your website and the desktop version of your website, or you can work on them side by side. It will take a little practice to get used to show its website designer tools, but if you need any help, there are great resources both on our website at davianchrista.com and in show its help center. If you need help quickly, you can access the show it support team via live chat using the messenger icon in the bottom right hand side of the app. Once you're ready to launch your Showit website for the first time, you'll have to submit a request to Showit. They'll ensure that your domain and your blog are configured correctly. And if you're moving content from an old blog to a new Showit blog, they'll actually move that content for you. You'll only need to submit this request the very first time you publish your website. After that, all you need to do to make updates to your website is hit the blue publish button in the top right hand corner of the app. But before you can submit your request, you'll have to pick a subscription tier. To choose your subscription, either hit publish or go to site settings. There are three subscription tiers to choose from, and we have resources in the video notes to help you choose. When you submit your request to show it, you'll have to have a few things ready for them. First, you'll need a domain name. If you don't already have a domain name, we recommend going over to Google Domains and getting one. It's easy to purchase and easy to manage from there. The second thing you'll need is the login information for your domain registrar. If you're unsure of who your domain registrar is, Show it can help you with that process, and we also have a couple resources in the video notes. Next, if you're transferring content from an old blog to your new Showit blog, you'll have to have your blog login information ready for the Showit team. Keep in mind that this might be different than your domain registrar login information. Again, if you need help with this, the Showit team will walk you through it. You'll also have to let Showit know if your email is tied to your current website host. If it is, they'll give you options for moving forward without losing your email. Keep in mind that Showit is not an email service provider. So if your email is tied to your old website host, they'll give you a couple options for moving forward so that you don't experience any downtime with your email. And when in doubt, use the notes section. You can use that section to include any login information that you think the Showit team might need. And you can also use that section to ask questions or to submit requests. The most common error that stalls website launches is sending the Showit team incorrect login information. So be sure to double check any usernames and passwords that you send over to them. And just to make sure that you have everything organized for your launch, make sure that you download our Showit website launch checklist that's available in the video notes. You'll receive an email from the Showit team once your website is ready to go. And if you chose a subscription with a blog, you'll also get information for logging into the blog. And that's it. That's the entire process of creating and launching a website using the Showit platform. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments of this video. And if you enjoyed the video, we hope you consider subscribing to our YouTube channel.